Let's go. So I'm in no left Queen's Park now. Let's go back at the Queen's Park. North Gate, known as the Nelson Gate. And this is looking at the Compton Street here where we take you back to Harrison's College. And this is the entrance to the Constitution River Route Taxi and Minibus Terminal. Now on the first of all this here is pedestrian access only. No littering, swimming or pond access. This is Church Village Green in Bridgestone, which was once a housing a village where people used to live, but in recent years they demolished the houses and moved the residents to, to different to somewhere else and then they convert it into a city park. This is the entrance to the Constitution River Route Taxi and Minibus Terminal. And this purple building here was once the Fort Royal Garage, which was the agent for Mitsubishi vehicles in Barbados. Until 1999, when they closed their doors and moved to the Warrens area in the Dorm Mall. So now this is number one beauty supplies. And this is a pond here with fish. So that's guys. All Church Village Green in Bridgestone. Looking back to the Central Bank of Barbados. The Central Bank is known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. It was built here sometime in the 1980s. And this is all Church Village, which was a housing development, a housing a village over here. Come back up Compton Street and the Queen's Park, North Gate, and by the Constitution Road and St. Michael's Road as well. So, this is the entrance to the Constitution River Route Taxi and Minibus Terminal. So this is all church village green in Bridgestone and this is the St. Michael's um, All Angels Cathedral which is the head Anglican church in Barbados and back the Constitution Road of St. Michael's Road and this is the Central Bank of Barbados here Oh, here's church, village green. Okay, so Michael's Cathedral here. St. Michael's Cathedral will be the final resting place of our late Prime Minister, our second Prime Minister Tom Adams. He was laid to rest at St. Michael's Cathedral in 1985 and his father Tom Adams was also laid to rest there as well. This is the Central Bank of Barbados, which is known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. And this is the little driveway under the, oh, but it's under the Central Bank. No trucks allowed because you can see it's a very low Thing so, but this is the front Colin Hall here where they have musical concerts at the, cent at the central bank and the Courtney Blackman Grand Sal as well. Also, part of the central bank where they have exhibitions, especially around crop over time, which is in August, between July and August, which is summer. And in November, when we have independence, so this is the Frank Collymore Hall where they have musical concerts, and the Courtney Blackman Grand Salle where they have art exhibitions, especially, especially um, 
around Crop Over Time, which is our carnival, which is held every summer between July and August. We have our exhibitions here. This is the Central Bank of Barbados. And this is St. Michael's and Our Angels Cathedral, the head Anglican church in Barbados. And this is the exchange of place of mystery and discovery, which was once Harrison's free school. And it was established in 1733. And then it was later the Masonic Lodge. And is now a property of the Central Bank called the, known as the exchange of place of mystery and discovery. And this is St. Michael's and All Angels Cathedral, which is the final resting place of Tom Adams and his father, Granny Adams. Granny Adams is a national hero of Barbados. He was the premier of the West Indies, father of the West Indies, and premier of Barbados. I was before independence and prime minister of the West Indies. And his son, Tom Adams, was the second prime minister of Barbados. And here's a brief history of St. Michael's Cathedral. Uh, like a number of price street now, we will come across the popular supermarket, popular discount supermarket. And this is the former Masonic Lodge building, as I said before, which is now a property of the Central Bank. Central Bank of Barbados here, known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. So this was the site of Harrison's College. It was known as Harrison's Free School back then. And this is the Central Bank of Barbados, known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. No reason Spray Street. Looking towards Airman Alley. Airman Alley got its name because of the back in slavery. Slaves couldn't go through, couldn't go to the cathedral. So they had to stop at the top of the alley and see Airman when they are finished prayers. We can buy the Spray Street now and Robert Street. And this is the Central Bank here, the Central Bank of Barbados, known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. So this is Airman Alley here, as I said before, the Airman Alley got its name because back in slavery time, the slaves could not go in the church, in the cathedral, so the slaves had to stand up outside here, and when the, when the service is finished, and the priest is finished preaching, they will say, Amen. This is our Spray Street in Bridgetown. And this is the Vagrant, the Barbados Vagrant Homeless Society building. So, thank you guys for watching now. And have a blessed morning.